Hi, welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Dilip Kumar. Today in this video, let's talk about very interesting uh, plant. This plant name is uh, chandelier plant. Some call it as uh, mother of millions. Some call it as mother of thousands. And the scientific name is Kalanko elegansis, and it belongs to the family of uh, Crassulaceae. And this is a succulent plant. Succulent means you know the leaves are thick and it's a tender and juicy uh, generally to store water and also stem pot is also it's a tender and it's a juicy uh, that is also to generally to store the water that is why it's called as a succulent plant and in some regions it's called it as a you know invasive plant that uh, you know we'll talk about its herbal you know uh, how it's used as a, a herbal medicine in uh, later part now to talk about this plant uh, it is one of the you know uh, uh, like uh, only few plants which uh, propagates vegetatively from uh, plant uh, leaflets actually plantlets that uh, develop on its uh, leaf leaf margins it's a uh, robust you know biennial or more or less it's a uh, perennial uh, perennial means you know over a year uh, this life cycle it will be completed but uh, in some areas the plant life cycle it will complete in uh, two years it will grow about uh, you know 0.2 meter to about uh, two meter that means uh, in some places it grows up to two meters uh, in height uh, the stems are you know upright and are uh, simple and round the leaves at base are you know uh, reddish green at uh, you know uh, basal uh, side you can focus uh, reddish green to gray and uh, this you know with the reddish brown spots you can find and on the tip of the leaf margins there are uh, two to nine small teeth on which numerous uh, brood buds are uh, present uh, it's a multi flowered plant uh, the flowers will be in reddish to green color of course now flowering season is uh, this is not the flowering season and uh, this is uh, considered as an invasive plant in um, countries like uh, Australia and some other uh, uh, regions because uh, uh, it uh, invades uh, other plant. Uh, now let's take a you know uh, look. You know here about uh, we planted uh, this area uh, about some 25 years back. We planted only one plant. Now I'll show you. Uh, you can uh, focus this side. Somewhere uh, here, here there was a small shed here, and we planted about uh, 25 years back uh, only some one or two plants we had planted, and uh, now in this entire surrounding area it's uh, growing because this is a uh, drought resistance, and uh, even without any watering also without any uh, fertilizers it will grow on its own. That is how uh, it sustains even in uh, drought drought like uh, situations. Even here, for uh, some time, continuously for about uh, three years, we did not get any rain. Even at that time, also, it uh, 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 you know it's uh, growing a lot, and uh, it's uh, invading other uh, places. And uh, mainly, some of uh, you know the uh, uh, it's used as uh, uh, and uh, it's a uh, poisonous actually. Sometimes uh, uh, I heard in a report. Back in 1997, uh, back in 1997, about uh, 125 uh, cattle were uh, died uh, by consuming uh, this plant in New South Wales. And but you know, as far as uh, my experience in uh, where we are uh, shooting this video uh, near Bangalore, uh, I didn't uh, come across such uh, uh, you know uh, this thing. And you can focus here. Even some goats and some sheep were, you know, grazed here. They have uh, consumed, you know, this part. Even I had seen some animals eat this, but uh, not to the extent where uh, they died. And I have not seen any animal in our place, you know, it got uh, affected uh, affected by this. This plant actually contains uh, bufa, diolin, and cardiac uh, uh, acid. 
that is uh, very toxic for uh, toxic and uh, poisonous for uh, uh, you know animal grazing animals and uh, about uh, you know even though it is uh, fatal for uh, grazing animals it has got numerous you know uh, uh, herbal medicinal uh, uses this is uh, used to treat uh, uh, oral health uh, it treats uh, rhinitis ulcers uh, to treat uh, you know cancer it protects a uh, female reproduction system and also for uh, treating back pain uh, hot leaves can be placed uh, in uh, areas of the back where you know the person who is uh, uh, experiencing uh, back pain and it's a good analgesic that means uh, it can cure uh, headache and uh, migraines it also used to remove uh, stays in uh, you know high human high and uh, health of uh, you know feet uh, human uh, you know our uh, feet uh, it will give a very good relief for uh, feet pain uh, you, you know and also in hot water actually we can immerse our feet for about uh, 30 feet uh, with this uh, juice or uh, with this hot uh, you know uh, leaves and uh, the paste can be applied as a sunburn we can uh, make paste out of these uh, leaves and uh, it it can be used as a sunburn it also used to treat warts and to tr treat wounds and also karu pain and it also helps to treat uh, diseases of uh, ear nose throat uh, it uh, used to uh, remove wrinkles on face and also for uh, uh, relaxing uh, muscles it's uh, used uh, even though uh, as i said you know it's uh, uh, fatal for animals but uh, since my childhood actually even whenever i visit my garden i just uh, uh, cut you know these uh, juicy tender uh, leaves and uh, i actually taste it uh, so far actually uh i didn't feel any uh, uncomfortable or unpleasant for me this is uh, uh, a nice thing you know uh, i am consuming it uh, since about uh, uh, since my childhood let's say the time we planted uh, this uh, chandelier uh, plant these are the juicy leaves and i consume it actually like uh, about 2 to 2 to 3 leaves whenever i visit here actually i feel the more young leaves are uh, better in terms of taste so these are the young leaves thank you for watching our uh, video uh, if you have any doubt regarding this uh, plant uh, you can let me know and about the propagation is through seed as well as uh, cutting uh, you can plant this plant and uh, uh, these plants actually once you plant it uh, in a pot actually watering is required but in a land watering and uh, other maintenance is not required for especially for this plant and once again thank you so much for watching and please let us know in next video what should be the uh, topic in our next video and if you like the video please hit the like button and also subscribe to our youtube channel 